just take a moment to look at the different parts of the client screen. We can see there are different things that we can do. For example, over here on the right hand side we have color coding. As we hover over different uh, colors, it should give us a little description as to what each color does. These can be changed in menu, password, color section. So if we just hover over a particular one, we can see its particular um, description and we can just click on that to get the color to change. These colors then are available on many different screens so that if a client happens to be looking over your shoulder, they will see the color but they won't know what it means. Only you will know what it means. Then down here in the bottom half of the screen, we've got the history section and for small animals this will show us the most recent history of what animals have been in, um, the names of those animals, the vet that saw them, the problem, the report, outcome and so on. Other sections such as CRM allow us to put in uh, some detailed information in relation to our contacts with our customer and we will have a separate video, video on that. Other contacts allow us to set up multiple contacts per household. For example, you may have a father, a son, a daughter or whatever bringing in the same animal. And to set up a new contact, we just use the button over here on the left hand side, New Contact. So if we click on that and it copies all the information that is generally the same, such as the address, the home number, work number, but it doesn't copy things like mobile numbers and emails. Neither does it copy the name of the person. So if Paul's son is Robert and it's Kenny, you can see we can put that information in here and if he has a different mobile number, you can put that information in there very easily. And you can see down in this section that he's linked to Paul Kenny and we can click in here on the left and it'll jump across to Paul Kenny's record and you may have noticed that Paul Kenny's record had a B against it which means that that is the master billing record. That means that only Paul Kenny can get bills in relation to this account but we can store details in relation to other members in the household and link that to that person's account also. The next tab here would be uh, the account tab which will show us details of what transactions have taken place on this account between the two dates that you happen to set here. We recommend that these, these dates will be set for the, for the first uh, day of the year to the last day of the year, whichever year you happen to be in, and it'll show you all the transactions that are listed in that period of time. Under the Animals tab, if we click on this, we can see a list of animals that are set up in relation to this particular client. If there's more than one animal, they'll be listed one under each other, and if we wanted to create a new appointment for each animal, we can do it from this screen. SEPA stands for Single European Payments Area, and that allows us to link to the banks to draw down money into your bank account directly from your client's account. We will have a separate video on this at a later stage. The bottom half of this screen shows further information where we can set in the uh, salutation details, uh, VAT numbers if they're an external VAT client, farm numbers, herd numbers, all of that type of information. Uh, if you need any more help on this area, please contact our support desk. We are going to skip over the heart health area because there's a separate video on that and go straight into categories where we can categorize our different clients in different fashions. We have five columns here by 10 rows or 10 lines across and as you can see we can set into uh, each a category listing by uh, the different types of client categories that we may wish to use for example dairy and beef in this case so if a client is both a beef farmer and a dairy farmer you would select both options and in either case if you did a search for beef or dairy 
the same client will come up so that you can contact them in relation to any communications you may have. Now a mail shot can be easily generated for either beef farmers or dairy farmers. The bottom right hand corner is reserved for the name of the colour that's selected and this can also be searched. The shopping tab will give us a representation using Google Maps of where this client is located. This can be derived from the address or from a zip code or a GPS coordinates. For a larger view of this map you can click on this button to open it in a browser window. The appointments tab will show us any future appointments for any animal belong to this client. The details will be set in here and you can choose to set appointments after a particular date so that you're not looking at older appointments. This can default to today's date. The last tab is the stock tab and this will give us a list of all the line items that were invoiced out for any animal belonging to this client. This facility here can be very useful if you wanted to search for all clients whose animal got a particular medication for example. Notes can be entered into this box which can be useful. These notes also will go down to the Vetscope app and notes taken on the Vetscope app will appear in here also.